When I was looking at MFA programs, a friend suggested that I look at low residency programs. And then I came across Antioch. And when I read its mission statement, I knew that it was the school for me. You know, there's lots of pros and cons to each school, but really the one that stood out to me the most was, um, the one that differentiated Antioch the most was their social justice aspect of the school. You know, as a writer, the issue of social justice is very important to me. And you know, what's most important uh, when we uh, want to write about social justice or when it hits us, it's really about our lives. We focus on social justice, and this is one way to get writers to do more than just turn in words all the time and think about what do I have to share. We start to see our, how our words impact others. And then instead of looking inside all the time, we start to look outward and share what we have to change the world with our words. Being a writer isn't just about writing. It's about so much more. It's about servicing the community and all the work you do in the community, such as um, helping other writers, heading up reading series, or um, you know, working with underprivileged children. Writing about social change is uh, stepping into the unknown. Uh, it's about stepping into uh, uh, communities that have been abandoned. I find social justice, as it is expressed through the written word, something very specific to me because I've spent the last three years teaching in the jail system here in Southern California. There's no Antioch way to think or write, but there is an Antioch way to live. Our program uh, contains um, individuals of every kind. We're, we're known as a progressive liberal institution, and we are. An Antioch way to live is really just being aware of how the self fits into something larger than the self. At Antioch, I was connected to a sort of larger, uh, more diverse group of writers than I think I would have experienced elsewhere in the country. A diverse community in a diverse city, the city of LA, and it really gave me this sort of experience, contact with mentors, uh, professionals in the writing world, whether it's agents, um, established authors. And it was my experience as an undergrad at Antioch that inspired me wanting to get an MFA. So I didn't go into Antioch to try to get an MFA. I went to Antioch to try to complete a BA. That experience was life-changing for me. A lot of the mentors and professors were very adamant about inclusion and making sure different students felt like, you know, they were included and they are people, despite whatever their differences may be, despite however difficult it may be for people to understand them. I felt like inclusion was a huge part of my Antioch experience. We're down at Twin Towers when I first did my work with Antioch, creating a creative writing program down there. At the end, one of the medics who walked through every day whispered to me and said, uh, Jane, you've given them a voice. Uh, so one of the things that I do love and appreciate about Antioch is the uh, um, how open the students, other students and the faculty are to different perspectives on issues. I realized kind of through talking to my mentors, professors, um, conversations and classes, workshops, just how sort of big the writing world is and how much room there is for everyone. Great writing eclipses those sort of categories by showing us that every human being shares certain qualities that we can connect with and relate to. But I think that the, the, the social justice aspect of good, of fine writing is more in erasing labels and distinctions and making us see past them to some greater truth. Well, one of the things that Antioch has taught me is um, to read. <laughs> I think in the first um, residency period, Steve Heller said, you know, uh, you're a better writer if you read. All literature deals directly or indirectly with social justice, including such books as uh, The Great Gatsby, uh, arguably the great American novel, uh, which is a novel of white privilege, and yet uh, its message is about the corrupting uh, power of wealth and how it can destroy a life. As an example, a book that I think expresses uh, social justice is a, a classic, actually, by uh, Dashiell Hammett. Uh, it's called Red Harvest. And the town is really divided between two classes, the capitalist class and the gangster class, and they're vying for control of this town. 
Upton Sinclair's book, The Jungle, where a, uh, his book was handed to the president, who then made changes in the laws for the killing of, of animals for, for eating. Walter Mosley is one example in Devil in the Blue Dress. His character, Easy Rollins, reads as a fully fledged black hero in contrast to the way black males have been historically portrayed in literature. I, I think the neat part of what's happening in society today in the literary world is that, that the idea of writing about social justice isn't really a category anymore, in that almost everything you read has something interesting to say about society. I, I, I've always been a reader, but I'm reading differently. Antioch has taught me to read in a different way, to read not only as a reader, but as a writer. The way we put the social justice mission to work with Antioch is we ask each of our students to do a field study. And the field study asks the student to find where is my passion as a writer and how can I use it to serve the larger community. I can speak to a student whose field study focused on veteran services. The student uh, created a, a reading room here on, on the Los Angeles campus so that veterans would have um, a safe space, a community space, and that exposure and support of veterans has led to uh, veterans writing classes and a, uh, a student services veterans coordinator. I think that whenever we teach good writing, we are, in a way, actually very directly uh, teaching social justice because it's clear thinking, it's thinking against stereotype, it's thinking against uh, oppression. So there's a very large world out there, and by the reading that we do and the writing that we do, we see that it's a bigger world than we ever knew about, and we want all of our writers to see that, and by extension then become part of that larger world where there's diversity, there's all kinds of experiences. Your power lies in the pen, and your power lies in your voice, and your power lies in giving voice and encouraging others to speak. And your power lies in magnifying communities that have been uh, uh, minimized. Our hope is that when students come here, they come here with the idea of wanting to write their own stories and they go through the program, and when they exit the turnstiles of Antioch, we hope they exit thinking about how to tell their stories, but also how their stories fit into the greater world around them. What I hope that students take away once they've finished at Antioch is that they found their voice as a writer. This is the social justice mission of Antioch, and it's what makes us a one-of-a-kind institution to study creative writing.